Hi guys, welcome to another course of uh, MrLopezClasset.com. This is uh, the new course of uh, Auxiliary Systems, Marine Auxiliary Systems. In this course, we are going to review all of uh, your concepts about uh, electricity, about uh, electronics, and uh, about the uh, engines, because we are going to connect the rest of the systems in, internally in the boat. We are going to analyze, we are going to start with the, with the rigging. We are going to check the rigging uh, in different types of boats, in boards, outboards. We are going to check the rigging in airboats. We are going to check uh, the rigging in uh, catamarans. We are going to check the rigging in uh, sailboats. Uh, we are going to analyze the rigging from uh, different uh, perspectives. And uh, we are going to visit uh, different marinas, the marina of Mr. Rodriguez, uh, the marina in, in Los Cayos, uh, where uh, uh, Capitan Daciel uh, uh, worked like a professor of uh, sailing. And uh, we are going to analyze different aspects of, about rigging. Rigging is a, is a big world. And we are going to try to check rigging uh, in, different, in different points. Uh, with uh, Mr. Rodriguez especially, we are going to uh, enjoy doing uh, the calibration of the, the wires, the cables in inboards and outboards. I hope you enjoy this this uh, this course. Uh, the second course, uh, the second uh, episode uh, chapter is about the hydraulic system. It's a, it's a big chapter. It's around four or five uh, episodes, um, wonderful episodes, uh, big episodes. Uh, we are going to study the hydraulic system, but uh, first of all, we are going to start to understand uh, dynamic of fluids, and uh, we are going to try to study uh, the Pascal law and how the Pascal law is applied in, in hydraulic systems, in marine hydraulic systems. And uh, we are going to try to understand an, an important concept. It's uh, the concept of uh, integration. How can we integrate in a central unit in my boat all the hydraulic systems together in one central unit? Yes, uh, we, we are going to visit the uh, other other guy in Polo del Del specialized in hydraulic systems, Steven. And uh, with him, we are going to analyze internally in a boat how can you integrate all the hydraulic systems together in one, in one central system. This is a nice, nice procedure. Uh, yes, my friend, we are going to try to uh, connect together in a, in a central hydraulic, electro-hydraulic unit with AC or DC power all the system trim tabs about thruster, passarellas, uh, David, uh, all the hydraulic systems integrated in one, and additionally, that system integrated with the NEMA 2000. And yes, that's, that's the future because today, the majority of the boats, the administration is, a, in, is in a central unit, in your cell phone, basically, because everything is condensated in, in the NEMA backbone, and the NEMA backbone is connected with the internet, and everything is connected together. Yes, my friend, this is a wonderful chapter, the, the chapter dedicated to hydraulic systems, and uh, I hope you enjoy enjoy that chapter. And uh, after that, we are going to analyze in detail the twin taps, how the twin taps works, uh, the different type of twin taps, electrical, hydraulic, electronic twin taps, uh, the, the vertical twin taps, uh, the interceptors, and uh, yes, we are going to check one per one in, in details. And uh, after that, we are going to analyze the windlass, the windlass and the anchor systems. And uh, yes, we are going to check exactly the same electrical windlass, uh, hydraulic windlass, and um, how the windlass uh, system can be integrated in the NEMA backbone. We are going to check the procedure to calculate the length of the chain, the length of the rope, uh, to calculate the, the weight of those elements. And uh, with that information, with the length of the chain, the, the weight of the chain, the anchor, we are going to calculate the capacity of the motor of the, of the of the windlass, AC, DC, or hydraulic motor in order to pull that system uh, completely. Yes, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice chapter, the chapter for windlass and anchor system. After that, we are going to check this, the steering system, power steering system, hydraulic system, electrical system, different type of steering systems. And once again, we are going to analyze for outboards, for inboards, with cable, with electrical, uh, with remote control, different different type of 
Power Assisted, the Power Assisted Unit, you remember, in the autopilot system in electronics. For that reason, I say that uh, this, uh, this uh, course is the integration of everything. If you have holes in electricity, mm, that's not good. If you have holes in AC power, mm, that's not good. Yeah, because in this moment is the moment that we are going to use all the concepts because everything at the end of the day will be connected to the AC panel or to the DC panel or to the electronics panel. And everything should be connected today to the NEMA backbone and to the internet and to the main screen. For that reason, your previous concepts about electricity, AC, DC and electronics are fundamentals in this particular course. Yes, that's the power steering system and we are going to check once again all the different types of power steering system. After that, we are going to continue in the chapter 6 with the, the stabilizers, the hydraulic stabilizers, the bow thrusters, the side thrusters, and uh, I am going to explain in, in detail how to install a bow thruster, the process to install the tunnel, the, the process with fiberglass to, to make the hole in the uh, in the hall uh, and uh, the laminating uh, of uh, the fiberglass and the installation of, uh, of the, uh, the bow thruster, electrical uh, bow thruster AC or DC, hydraulic bow thruster integrated with the central unit, uh, the same with the gyros and, uh, and the stabilizer. It's a nice, nice chapter. Uh, I hope you enjoy also that, that video. And the chapter 7 is about the fresh water system. How important is the freshwater system? The freshwater system, once again, is divided in two for small and medium boats and for mega yachts. For small and medium boats is in, in DC current with the pumps DC and uh, for the mega yachts is in with pumps AC pumps. AC pumps, uh, uh, single phase and double phase and uh, the procedure to install the holding tank we are going to analyze where is located the holding tank the gray tank the fresh water tank in this chapter is the fresh water system and the chapter 8 is the sanitation system we are going to analyze the sanitation system and the different type of uh, sanitation uh, devices and the different type of toilets the installation of the toilets how it should be installed the toilet where it should be located the toilet uh, what happens if the toilet is located below the water line over the water line uh, what is the recommendation if the toilet is located below the water line a lot of tips in order to install the sanitation system properly and finally we are going to check the fire protection system this is another uh, important system in the boat this is uh, one of the systems that is connected with the power, with constant power. Doesn't matter if you disconnect the power in different areas of the boat, that system, that system have a, a lot of uh, uh, elements connected together in order to supply, to supply water <coughs> and uh, 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 to activate fire extinguishers uh, in different moments, depending on uh, the temperature, depending on uh, uh, the smog, depending on uh, different factors, the system will be activated. The fire suppression system, we are going to analyze that system and we are going to check where should be located uh, the sensors, how are connected the sensors and how it's integrated again with the, <clears throat> with the NEMA 2000 and uh, with, the, with the backbone. Uh, okay, my friend, this is uh, our uh, first course of uh, auxiliary systems. And the next coming course is about air condition system. But uh, in this in this course, as uh, you can see, we are going to check all of the systems. And uh, I, I promise you, when when we start this program, that we are going to study the boat completely, completely from the bottom in, to the flybridge. And we are going to analyze all the system one for one. Yes, this is the moment. And uh, once again, we are going to we are going to uh, study hard in this uh, in this course. Uh, we are going to, uh, to follow the same protocol. We have uh, one conference on uh, Wednesday uh, at uh, 2 p.m. And uh, we have uh, a couple of laboratories on Friday on, uh, on the shop. And um, I, I am going to try to coordinate a visit, depending on uh, the condition of the pandemic. But uh, I am going to try to coordinate that visit. Once again, we are going to follow uh, the book, the test book, if, uh, the auxiliary book, that book. Uh, and uh, we are going to follow also the marine uh, system certification ABYC. At the end of this class, we are going to take the systems marine system certification, and this is the ABYC study guide, marine system certification. 
and we are going to prepare during the during the course in order to take that certification. In the next coming class, we are going to take the air condition certification. Okay, my friends, uh, I hope you enjoy this class. Uh, once again, don't forget we have a uh, one quiz at the end of each chapter. Um, one quiz at the end of, of each chapter, and uh, we have uh, the final exam. And um, be be careful. Follow follow the roadmap because uh, uh, in this uh, course. I don't modify the windows, the timing windows for the exams and the and the episodes. Uh, according with the roadmap, I am going to follow the the the, the course, and uh, I don't modify that system. Okay, be careful with that. Printed your roadmap. Keep your roadmap printed in your car, in your office, in order to be uh, organized with the with the administration of the time. This is the secret in this uh, in this type of courses. Uh, uh, with me, administration of the time. Because uh, if uh, if you say, oh, no, uh, that video, I'm going to check that video tomorrow or tomorrow, one day is impossible. Each video is around 40 minutes. It's a long, a long, long videos with a lot of information. You need to stop the video and, and start again, stop, start, uh, stop the video, copy information, because I'm going to get a lot of extra information additional to the information that you have uh, in your book. Where uh, can you buy the book? You can buy the book in my webpage or in my Facebook also, in the, in the shop of uh, my Facebook, you found the book. Or uh, uh, if you have a financial aid in Broward College, you can buy the book in, a, in, in the bookstore of uh, Broward College. If you are a student of uh, the West Palm Beach College, you can uh, buy uh, the book in the bookstore of uh, the West Palm Beach College or in, in my Facebook, in my webpage or in Amazon. In Amazon you found that also uh, the books, okay, my friend. And uh, if if you are interested to take this course, only the course of uh, auxiliary, you can buy the course in, in in my webpage, or you can buy exclusive, for example, the course of hydraulics. Only the chapter of hydraulics is one small course. You can buy that course also in my webpage, and uh, and you can follow the the episode. You can solve the quizzes and at the end you receive a certificate. Okay, my friends, uh, welcome, welcome to the auxiliary systems.